Welcome to the jungle here in Cincinnati for this afternoon's matchup between the Panthers and the Bengals. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. Panthers ready to get the pigskin in the air. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Let's roll! Let's roll! First down here. time. Oh, nothing better than the defense to sack the quarterback early in the game. Gives you confidence that you can just beat them physically. Nothing like ripping the other guy. Ohio! Ohio! Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? Let's roll! Let's roll! Eyeing that left side. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. When it's third and long on the offensive side, you have very few choices on how to pick up a first down. Call one of them and see if you get lucky and see if it works. Way third down. Let's go. Let's run. Let's run. Johnson's gonna take the snap from the shotgun. On the spot. He's brought down. That's gonna bring up fourth down. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's gonna work. And they stop the offense that time. Johnson's going to take it from the gun. The Bengals now move the chains. Bad play call that time by the defensive coordinator. It's fourth and short. There's only a couple plays you know the offense is going to run. They were not ready, and they give up a big first down. First down here after the completion. Draw play here. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second and 12. Looking across the middle, and he's almost intercepted. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties, and you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. It's third down coming up. Johnson standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Let's roll! Let's roll! 
lined up in the pistol formation. Trying to beat the play clock. The wide receiver in motion. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. Well, I'll give the defense some credit here. They stopped them on fourth and long. Well, they should. Take that back. I'm not giving them any credit. I'm giving the blame to the offense. Bad decision. The Panthers lined up in the pistol. First and ten, and Williams has handed the football. That's enough for a first down. What a nice run by the running back. Picks up big yards, and he did everything that time. He picked the proper hole, gets through it, and shows that speed to get the long game. Ron Rivera and the Panthers turn things around late in the season back in 2012. We've known him for a long time, back to his days as an assistant coach in the league. No matter what the job is, you need a little on-job training, and that's what he has gotten in these first two years. I'm sure Ron Rivera would say to everybody right now, he is a much better head coach now than he was two years ago. That should show with this football team. He's got a quarterback in Cam Newton going into his third year. I look, this is a football team on an upswing. It could be a really good year down in Carolina. Of course, one of the problems is you're in one of the toughest divisions in the league. When you talk about Atlanta, you talk about New Orleans, and you've got a Tampa team that's much improved, too. Yeah, you know, the old saying is all about all that. Nobody wants to hear about all the pain. They just want to see the victories. And on Monday, they just want to know one thing. Did you win or did you lose? I think Ron Rivera is going to say win a lot more times this year on Monday. Williams lined up in a single back formation. Third and nine, he'll fire it out to the left. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run a route like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. He converts here on field goal drive. Well, Jim, that field goal puts them in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Now makes the move to the right. The Bengals get a first down. Good job by the running back that time. Finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. The Bengals in the pistol. Now first and ten. On first down, it's back to the ground game. The off-tackle run is just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Ball was caught and out to about the 33. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards. Gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Breaks free. That brings the play to an end. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed. And the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. The Bengals now move the chain. Good job by the offense getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? 
First down here after the run. Back to the ground. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. He'll throw it over the middle. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. And the point after is good. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. the tackles made inside the 15. <laughs> Offense lines up here. First and 10. Running to the right. Cam Newton is fast, and he is one big quarterback, at least six foot five, six foot six, about 250 pounds. He can run around you, and he can run over you also. The Panthers capped off the first with a big play, and now we'll try to capitalize here at the start of the second quarter. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. The Panthers line up in the pistol offense. Going to lose yards here. That's just bad execution by the offense. Bad decision by the quarterback. He pitches it out to the running back. Nowhere for the running back to go, and he lost a couple of yards on the run. Third and six. Interception. He's in the clear, going to take it the distance. The 30, the 20, the 10. What an effort and a touchdown. When a defense intercepts a pass like that and scores a touchdown, boy, does that give him hope. Gives them a lot of confidence. They really get the momentum on their side, and it's going to be hard for the offense to come out here and do anything after that play. The Panthers are prepared to return the kickoff. And he's going to be taken down well short of the 20. Let's mark him at the 15. to the line and it's first down the give to the running back trying to plow ahead nice tackle well a short gain on the run that time by the offense when you're running football team listen there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work you just got to keep running it Olson to tight end but now shifted into the backfield and an eight That pass was hurry. <laughs> Olson's move from the tight end position to the slot. Newton's back in shotgun formation. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. That's Newton over to Olsen for the catch. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that 
does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. Second and eight. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense credit here, Jim Nance. Good job on the option play. They just attacked the offense. The quarterback kept the football, but there's nowhere to run, and he lost yards. Williams is in the backfield. Newton in shotgun formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Olson's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Olson's moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. Third down and eight. He's looking to the right. That ball is picked off. They got him down there. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten. They're going to run it right. Out to the 23. Nice run that time by the running back. And if they keep running the football like this, it's just a matter of time before they fake it and throw that football over the top of the defense. They are being physical. The running back doing a good job, and they are making it happen in the running game today. They're going to get him here for a sack. Good job with the safety getting that sack. I'll say this. He can tackle. He can cover. And he's showing us he can get to the quarterback. Halftime, two minutes away. The quarterback coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time to the 25. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Throws to the right. It's a touchdown. Nice job running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. The point after is good. Bengals ready for action. He'll start his return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. They face first down. He's got some daylight. Brought down. Picks up the first as he's tackled at the 35. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there. And it's good for a few yards and gets him another first down.
They're able to move the chains after that last run. And out of the shotgun. Caught. Brought down right at the 50. This is just a good example of how the NFL has changed. If you want a big play, you don't always have to throw it down the field or design something special. The throw it to these wide receivers short. We can see they're able to take short passes, break tackles, and with their talent, they get long games. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Going across the middle. No one in sight. Has the grab. Advances it out to about the nine. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game. Their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they could punch this in for the touchdown. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. They'll go shotgun here. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That'll stop the play right there. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. Second and goal from the five. He'll go. He's in for the touchdown. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score. They did that. Now the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. the Panthers for the extra point but there's a flag thrown in the point after try is in the books Offside. Defense. the defender got caught in the neutral zone right there that'll cost him five yeah he's a little too anxious you know all these defenders they got one thing in common you know what that is they hate quarterbacks <laughs> they want to get there a little too nervous there gets him caught in the neutral zone They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Newton's, you talk about momentum, that turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down, looking to the right side and throwing. Running play went for 11. The Bengals signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. When you can throw an out route like that, that shows you the strength of the quarterback's arm. In halftime. First down and ten. In trouble now. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Going to be a tackle for a loss. That does it for the first half. Panthers trail in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Bengals lead by ten. Time to check in quickly with Danielle Bellini from the sidelines. Danny? I got a chance to quickly speak with Ray Malaluga during halftime. His team has got the lead right now, and he told me it's up to the defense to make it stand up. He said, as a defense, you don't want to give up a lead, so we're going to come out and make plays to keep this lead. Seems simple enough, guys. I'll send it back up to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. The Panthers come out in the pistol. And now here's the first snap of the second half. He's into the open. Tackled at the 29-yard line. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game.
new set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you're going to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Second and a yard. Mike Colbert. Middle. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Panthers official. He confirmed it was a neck injury. The team is taking this very seriously, so they've immobilized his neck. And guys, they'll take him to the hospital for further observation. First down here after the run. Play action. The defense did not give up an inch. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. You got to find a way to score a touchdown. Williams is in the backfield. Second down and 10. An incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. This defense can pressure the quarterback. There's no doubt about it. They did this time, and it results in another incompletion. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. Third and 10. Looks to his left. Oh, should have had it. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. And he puts it through for three. When you get great field position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. First and ten. It's handed to the running back. Gets past the first wave. And that's enough for a first down. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Throws the pass. Catch is made. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. This is what you call throwing a wide receiver open against man-to-man -man coverage. Throw it to the open space. Let the receiver outrun the defensive back. Nice completion. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. Reaches out and grabs it. He's going to be tackled right around the 49. This is probably the worst defense in the NFL when it comes to pass coverage. Four defensive backs all playing deep. Afraid to give up the big pass. That's great. You don't give up the big pass, but you give up an awful lot of short ones, especially in cuts going across the field. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field and... My guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Offense needs two yards here on third down after that pass play. Working that left side. The pass complete. He's got room. 
makes the tackle after a pickup of 15. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Ah, it's a terrible job by the defense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. Game of six. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second down coming up. Throws to the right, inhales the pass. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. That reception gave them the first down. Johnson's got it in the gun. Ball's picked off. And a touchback. Approach this play from out of the pistol. That picks up seven. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. To the right side. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Olsen's playing out of position in the backfield here. Newton takes it from the shotgun. That catch gives them a first down. Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. That wraps up the third quarter here in Cincinnati. And we'll be back in just a moment for the start of the fourth. On first down. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And that's going to be a new set of downs at the 34. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much. And he throws it there and gets another completion. They've got a first down now after that catch. Screen. And Williams. Fumble. That's a timeout by the defense. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Cam Newton takes a look now from under center. On second down and five. I think he's intercepted. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Oh, 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 oh. 
Nickel formation here for the defense. They run the counter play. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. When you see long runs like that by a running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course, he has good vision, and he has talent. But how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary? That's what creates long runs. First and ten. He has the grab. Got a little crease. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Yards after the catch. That is what has been killing this defense all year. You got to make the tackle uh, on these short throws. They didn't. A good job by the receiver. Flex round, flex round. First down here after the completion. They'll go ground, and he'll go to the left. What a good job by the defensive player there, just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. It's always dangerous when your receiver's running the drag route and you throw it too far in front of him you most likely are just going to lead him into trouble. Ohio, Ohio. The defense comes Ohio, out in the nickel. Ohio. Ohio, Ohio. Third and six. Ball comes out. And the defense has it. And he's brought to the ground. The defense comes up with the big play. The hit and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. Looks like they're going to run a little wildcat here. First and ten, the handoff, running behind the tackle. They break through, tackle him behind the line. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. It's away from the stack. D'Angelo Williams with a nice piece of running on that play. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. That's just a bad job by the quarterback that time. Bad decision. He keeps the football, doesn't fool the defense, and he gets taken to the ground. He loses yards. This one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. He makes the catch. Getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. Two-minute warning. We're drawing near a close, and the defense is trying to preserve a victory. I think the big decision is now, Jim, do you kick the football, take the three points, or do you go for it on fourth down? To me, you kick the football and get three points on the board.
offense lines up here. Fourth down. It's now or never. Powers his way across. Touchdown. This is why a head coach gets paid so much money. You get in situations like this. They have to make the call on fourth and goal. He goes for it, and they get it. It's as tight as it can be. The game all square in the final moments. Yeah, when, you, when the game gets in this situation, Jim, which coach has the courage to call that play that's a little daring? They could backfire, but if it doesn't, it gives you a chance to win the game. This big return is going to set up his team in excellent field position. Defense comes out of the nickel. First and ten. Looking across the middle, A.J. Green with the catch. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Bengals have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. Second and 12, looking to the right side and throwing. Bringing the play to an end. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up and make the catch. It's the old counter play. Keekly who makes the tackle. Well, it's, you know you're just getting dominated physically when the offense just runs the football right up the middle the middle linebacker and the defensive tackles just have to be better. Setting up in the pistol on this play. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Getting sacked. I don't know who to blame here. Was it a great play by the safety getting the sack on the quarterback? Or the quarterback just not paying attention, seeing him coming, and if you see him, you've got to change the play or get rid of the football a lot quicker. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. He, no one's going to get him now. Fakes out the defender right there on the spot. Jim, what a nice throw by the quarterback. Puts the football right in the hands of the wide receiver. He's behind the defense, but look at the hustle and the speed by the defense. They get the tackle from behind. Locks this one up, Phil. Yeah, locks it up. And it was, it, listen, it was a hard fall game, a lot of fun to watch. And that field goal, listen, that was a tough drive. And I, I don't know, I didn't feel easy about sending the, the field goal kicker out to make it. The coach made the decision, and it worked out in his favor. What's it like for a team standing on the side?